Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, everybody, welcome to the show. Charles here, and welcome to the Charles Matthews Morning Show. How you guys all doing? Please put into the chat where you're calling in from, where you're looking at from. I'm so glad that you're here. Now, listen, my guest today, she says she's a little nervous. I don't think she's nervous at all. I think she's just excited to be here, and I'm so excited to have her. Now, it's all about fashion today. You know something? We've been locked away so long that we need to get out. You know what I mean? You've been wearing the same clothes, same everything. It's time to design some stuff. It's time to look great. If you're ready to do that, let's go. So please welcome my first guest. Here we go. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> so glad to have you here. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, like I in the beginning, I was telling everybody, you know, we've been locked away so long. I see you got mannequins in the background. We need to know. We need to pop our style a little bit. We're coming out of COVID. We got to look good. But before we get into that, please exactly. introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about yourself. Hi everyone. My name is Princess Usariman Ayeman. I'm the founder and the CEO of. House of Daniel Fashions Academy. I was trained in Italy as a fashion designer, and here I am today in Canada. So I am blessed to be here. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, Chaz, for having me this morning. I'm not great. A, not a problem. Okay, so let's backtrack then. Where were you born and raised? I was born and raised in Nigeria, in Benin City. Yeah. So did you always know you want to be a fashion designer? Like that was it? The little girl in you said, oh, fashion, that's me. Or did you think about anything else? Yeah, I do remember when I was a child, I have always dreamed to be a fashion designer. I remember when I was six years old, myself and my immediate youngest sister, we were just at the backyard playing with sand, you know, <laughs> back then in Africa. And um, I just told them, like, I'm going to be a fashion designer. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and my profession is going to be better than yours because I'm going to be traveling around the world showcasing my brand. And she was a little bit like, hmm. And she pushed me and she ran away. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a teen of childhood because I remember those days in school uh, we were opportunity to create some um, uh, we call it those days Adire fabric that's a tan dye so we use a lot of colors we just like buy them some batiks and put in the colors and do the tan dye mm -hmm. and just unstitch and create so I've been into fashion right from childhood <laughs> Okay, so, so there was nothing else you ever wanted to do. It was always fashion. You saw the fashion. So what about the fashion that got you so excited? Yeah, what got me so excited 
it has always been fashion. And at the same time, I've been always in that line. Mm, and okay. it's always been like fighting, 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 and I'm holding on and I'm fighting through. I'm like, no, I'm not giving up this. It's my passion. And what actually got me excited about fashion was the Italian designs. Mm, okay. The Italian designs was just my inspiration. <laughs> And um, being that childhood, seeing Valentine, Valentino, yeah, um, Giorgio Armani, Roberto Cavalli, and those Italian designs, it's really inspired me. And whenever I see it, I'm like, those days, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. So that has been what kept me going as well and motivated and more inspired to be. A fashion designer. So then how did you get started? Like, you know, where did you go? What was the first step you took to get into this industry? Oh, back in those days, I remember in, in 1990, 1990, before, before 1990, that is uh, 1989, I was in my, <laughs> Just this, yeah, we call it like JSS one back then, and it happens to be that my final exam to the grade eight, I didn't pass it at all, and I told my fa my dad about it, and my dad was like, "That's not the end of the world. Look at you. You love dressing up. You love." marketing, you love designing. I see fashions in you. I see that fashion design in you. You know what? If it happens to be you, 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 you do not return back to school, I'm going to put you in this sewing school. Okay. Yeah. And my father happens to be a reverend and is like, okay, I'll introduce you to uh, this lady called Mrs. Agbosa. And uh, she would train you up to become a seamstress. So, so, there's like, a, so there was a start of a push. Yeah. You had someone that believes in you, that trusted in you, and that said, listen, I see something in you that you really like. And that's what everybody needs. Everybody exactly. needs that one little push to get them going, to show them that little push, what they can do. So exactly. he, sends, he sends you off. You see the seamstress, you start. What was your very first outfit? Or what was the very first thing you made? I remember my first outfit. I still have it. Unfortunately, I don't have it here. I kept it. It was four panel skirt on a jeans fabric. Okay. So when I finished making it, I was so excited. I'm like, oh my goodness, I made it. <laughs> it's beautiful. So four panel skirt was my first outfit that right made all right now i teach everybody that there's ups and then there's downs yeah. so that that first panel skirt was your first but how many times did you just throw fabric away how many times did you make a mistake how many times did you rip something and throw it in the garbage so many times that's one thing i told my student i'm like do not be afraid to make mistake and when the mistake is gonna made you I was in, I was, I knew I was trained in one of the best school in Italy, but trained as a beginner to advance, it took me years to have my own experience. And during the time of being, to have those experiences was the time I got frustrated. I threw the fabric away, either because I made a mistake or I was so fast on the surgery machine and the surgery machine just caught everything in pieces that I need to start all over again. And I remember starting all over again, I just tears in my eyes crying, but I keep on telling myself, I will do it. I will do it. I will get it right. So <laughs> mistake was so many times. <laughs> so then what? What got you into not only the fashion, but wanting to teach other people the, the business? Because learning the business is one thing, but to give back your gift, that is another level. So why did you want to give back your gift? 
in 2016, I took um, a business class and my supervisor, my business supervisor, I made some outfits, I made so many things, handbags and things like that for her. And she saw the potential in me. And she was just like, princess, do you know how many people are crying to learn? Then I sat down and I just took, um, I taught over it. And uh, in 2010, I tried at first to start teaching, but at the point I just stopped it. So having taken that business courses, she just like, she inspired me more. And ever since I've been in this industry, like teaching aspect of it, I have met many fashion designers, graduate that are struggling to bring their own idea to life. And giving back is, uh, is I have that passion and satisfaction, seeing my students being able to make their own designs and they create it and be able to bring it from scratch pattern making, drafting, sewing to finishing. And at the end of the day, putting that designs on manicure, I'm standing from my farm like, wow, it's beautiful. So seeing them bringing their own idea to life gives me joy. I enjoy doing it. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. All right. So we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to get directly into the school and how people that are out there that are watching right now go, you know, I think I got the bug. I think I can sew. I can, I can make something or not even, you know, something to do outside of the realm because sometimes you just need a break and maybe sewing will be your new break. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. And if you have a comment, put it in. If you have a question, we'll answer it just now. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Immigrant Women in Business IWB, is a non-profit organization bringing together women from over 50 different countries around the globe. These women have now made Canada their home and share a common goal of providing value to their new sisters. Our motto of We Are Stronger Together resonates with all members and with a diverse membership of business leaders, entrepreneurs and community builders our goal is to make Canada better and provide guidance and leadership to those that follow. CMJ Entertainment is a one-stop shop. CMJ Entertainment helps people do any type of events, and it's a marketing tool as well. So we'll cover everything from start to finish. If it's a wedding, we'll make sure your wedding is over the top. And if it's an event, we make sure that everybody gets information at the end of the day. Give us a call at 416-414-8964 or online go to cmjent.com. We're back live and we're talking to Princess and we're talking about, listen, it's about fashion. It's all about you. It's all about making the fashion work for you. And we asked her, why did you want to give back and why did you want to open up your school? So let's get right into it. Here is the website and tell us, when did the school actually open? It was 2016 September. That was when I started offering one-on-one classes. Okay, and I see that there's you, you're, you're giving the students an opportunity to make all type of stuff. Yeah. I give them, yeah, they have the opportunity to make all kinds of designs. They can even, they can even imagine and whatever they dream of, uh, they are able to put it from pattern making, sewing to finishing. Any kind of design, there's no limit. All right. And where is your school located? We're here in Scarborough. 3730 Custom Road, Scarborough. Ontario. And one, one thing that I did love when I was doing my research is you have online courses. Yeah, so we're trying to integrate into online classes and we'll, yeah, we're working into that. Right. And, so this, this, and this is for a lot of people that want to learn. You know, maybe you have another job, but you know, you're always wanting to make that one outfit to go out. You know, exactly. that one outfit you want to make and you don't have time, but they have online courses and you can exactly. do it right there. So tell us a little bit more about how the school works. Is it semesters? Give us some background on the school. It's a six months program. Uh, three days a week is a part time. And uh, a six, 
yeah, three days a week, a six month program, 360 hours. So they cover all curriculums from the beginning, like beginner classes to advance. So that helps them to be able to create whatever designs they can make. They are not limited. It's not limited like selected topics, which teaches everything from scales, sleeve, pant, jumpsuit, dresses, all kinds of designs, jacket within six months of six months program. All right. Now I see here because some of the some of my viewers are men and they'd be like, well, Charles, do they do anything for men? And yes, I see here you have menswear, men's T-shirts. So can men join your classes? Yes, we have the we have a 10 months program as well, which enables men's athletes that they, they learn from all women gamut and at the same time men's gamut as well. So we teach diverse women and men in the fashion industry how to bring their own idea creative to life. And I love the way you just said their own ideas and their, their own creativity. And that's what everybody wants. They want their own creativity to bring out what they're looking for. You know, yes, fashion. Exactly. fashion. Tell us about fashion. Why, why, why fashion can change your outlook? How can fashion change your mood? Oh, <laughs> this one I just dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked beautiful. I looked amazing, inspired. So fashion is a kind is a thing of the inner healing inside you that you're able to dress up to how you want to look and people see you like you're beautiful. So fashion can actually go the long way. Yeah, and then I see that the um, fashion changes your mood. You know, you can yeah. tell people how you're feeling by just the way you look and, and what you're doing. So it's it's absolutely fire. All right. Speaking of fire, it is time for... It's now time for rapid fire. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. We're going to put some two minutes on the clock. And then whatever I ask you, whatever comes to your mind real quick, you just spit it out. And we're just going to get to know you a little bit more. So give us... A, B, C, or D, and those are the questions I'm going to ask you right now. A, B, C, or D. Pick a number. Pick a letter. A. I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's going, she's going straight for the gusto for number A. All right. So here we go. We're going to put two minutes on the clock. And right as soon as I get the two minutes on the clock, I'm going to ask you your first question. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Let's go. We want to know, what is your favorite drink? Juice, orange juice. There you go. Uh, where is your, when are you most productive? Oh, anytime, mostly at night. Okay. Who inspires you and why? Roberto Cavalli. His designs are unique, different and vibrant and different colors are like handmade fabrics. All right, summer or winter? Anytime, summer, winter, and home. <laughs> you got to pick one. Quick, summer or winter? Summer. All right. Uh, what's happening in your life right now that you're excited for? I'm so happy that we got a new space that can accommodate as many students as we can. Favorite number and why? Pardon me, can you say that again? Favorite number. What's your favorite number and why? Number number four. Okay. Why I'm the fourth child of my parents. Ah, there you <laughs> go. Favorite favorite cake flavor. Oh, uh, vanilla. Okay. Favorite day to start. Oh, November tenth. Worst subject in school. The worst worst subject in school. Ooh. Mathematics. <laughs> Last one. Favorite subject in school. 20 seconds. Oh, BK, religious knowledge. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Congratulations. You made it Thank through you. rapid fire. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So you said some things there. You say, you know, 
any time you're inspirational, summer or winter, you don't have a mood? Is it because fashion, you can be fashion any time of the, of the year? You know, you can be fashion in winter, fashion in summer. Tell us a little bit more why you said that. I said any time because we are non-limited. I'm non-limited. I can create any designs in the fashions. And in winters, the suit, jacket, I can I can work with tweed fabric. So in summer, vibrant colors. So anytime I'm there. <laughs> All right. So listen, I got a lot of uh, ladies listening right now, and I want to help them out. So what is the top colors for this summer? What color should we be wearing for this summer? Oh, this summer, I will be seeing orange, pink, blue, vibrant color. Vibrant colors. Okay. Yeah. So now for the men, because I know I'm going to get a lot of slack here. They're like, Chuck, what about us? So what color should I be popping this summer? You know, I want to go out, you know, um, Savannah and I are going to be going out for lunch. What should I be wearing? Okay. For the men, those we are those days that may only stick with black color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so fashion has, has really changed right now. So any colors can go for me as well. Blue. Okay. <laughs> Orange, <laughs> red, purple. So we got so so men gotta get out the dark colors and get yeah. back into the to more bright colors. Exactly. Okay, okay. So listen, if you're interested, I'm gonna put this right here on the screen. There's a phone number right there. Give her a call. 416-741-3914. I'm actually gonna put it on the screen as well. And if you're just looking to, to start. You want to do something new. You want to make your own design. Because here, here's the thing, too. Maybe you're getting married. I see some wedding gowns on here. You want to design your own wedding gown. There's an opportunity to it right there. Don't hesitate. Jump right in and do what you have to do. Give her an email. Say, listen, I saw you on the Charles Matthews Show. Got a couple of questions. How do we get started? Exactly. Even if it's custom made, you want to customize your outfit, I'm here for you. All right. So let me ask you this question as we move on. How much talent do you need? Like I've never, you know, never sewn before. I've never stitched anything before. Can I come take your course? Exactly. You can. We teach you from novice, no experience of sewing, how to use the sewing machine to how to create your own garment. So you do not need to have any experience at all. All right, and then I'm gonna just go through some of our pictures here. So these are some of your students? Yeah, these are the student designs on the 2019 fashion show, back porch fashion show we had in Mississauga from one of our fabric sponsors, Mayasa and Yasa Fabric here in Canada. Is actually he was the one that actually sponsored those fabrics, and our design, our students utilized the design, the fabric. They made all kinds of designs from it. So those are the models wearing the designs, but the outfits were all made by our students. And this looks like it was outside in, in a, a nice yeah. sunny day. Yeah, it was a back porch fashion show. So very, like very nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Very nice. Listen, if you need models, let me know. I see some people on the line here. I'm ready. I think I think I can do it. Just let me know when you need some models to go. Sure. <laughs> models <laughs> next month. I'm ready. <laughs> another fashion show. So they're welcome. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to have another fun game. And just to get to know you and the interesting a little bit more. And if you have any questions, please do remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Now time for pick three. It's now time for pick three. So before we let you go, you're going to ask yourself your own questions. Before you go, I need you to a a ask some questions. Any questions you want from one to 30. Pick three numbers between one and 30. Between one and 30. I'll go first again, number one. Okay, give me two more numbers. Number one, number 10. Okay. And uh, number four. One, 10, and four. Okay, question number one. 
What is the one thing you wish you would have known before getting into this industry? Oh. One thing. The experience, the business aspect of it. Okay, so we mean the business aspect. Ex yeah. Explain a little bit more about the business part. So the fashion business is completely different from the fashion designing aspect of it. So it actually teaches you or tells you details about how to run a fashion business, like the small productions, um, uh, the powder makings, and um, how, how to get your designs into the boutiques and all that. So. I like, I, I like you yeah. said that. So don't think of your business as one aspect. You got to cover all aspects. All, aspect, yeah. all right. Number four, what are some great resources that helped you along the way? Uh, I would say um, Elizabeth Fly here in Toronto. They provided a huge services to help our small businesses. And um, the RISE, uh, I really got a huge support from RISE as well. And my own experience, my own personal experience session, trying to know more and not limiting myself. And at the same time right now, IWB. <laughs> there you go, there you go. All right, so la last question. Who are the three people that has influenced you in your life to, to date? Number one, my my father. I will I have always lived to remember that advice. And before I could return back to school, he passed away. But luckily I was able to finish all nice. to grade 12. So my father and one other godfather of mine, Padrino mm -hmm. in Italy, and at the same time, my Italian school. <laughs> <laughs> I will never forget them. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. So there it is. One more time. 416-471-3914. That's 471-3914. But don't worry. You can just go to the website right there. Click on it. Send a message, contact her, and say, listen, I saw you on the show. You know, I'm interested. And I hear some of the comments right here. You know, right here, it says, my 14-year-old daughter is going to love the replay. She wants to get into fashion design. So there you go. Make sure she gives her a call. I would love to have her start. And I want to see what she makes because that's the beauty about it. I like to see what's coming out of people's head and what they're designed to make. For me, I want to make one of those T-shirts, those shirts behind you on the mannequin. I want to get an African print. I want a nice African print shirt. So I think I'm going to start coming over to make my own design. If you want to make your own design, make sure you follow her right there. But before we let you go, is there anybody you want to say a shout out to, say hi to? I want to say a big shout out to Sabnana. Thank you so much. And all the IWB women oh, for inspiring me. And um, Jacqueline as well. You are such a great inspir inspiration. And um, and moreover, you <laughs> just match it. So thank you so much for having me. And last people, my son and as well, all my students. A big shout out to all my students out there. There you go. And here's the one thing in life. Keep designing, everybody. Your mind, your body, your soul will look great. Keep designing and can't wait to see you later. Like I always said, you didn't have to watch, but I'm glad that you did. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. It's come to an end, but the fun doesn't have to stop here. If you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, head over right now to Twitter and Facebook and like, share, and get involved. Join us next time. Please be advised that this podcast is meant for educational and informational purposes only and is in no way a replacement for legal or medical advice. The opinions contained within are solely those of the interviewers and interviewees and should be received as so. Those seeking help or advice are encouraged.